Hi everybody and um, welcome back to Terry's Finds. We're going to do another unboxing today. This was a six pound box of jewelry that I purchased off of Etsy and um, I will tell you right now because it was so heavy I did kind of take a peek and everything was tangled so I just kind of pulled things out untangled them. They're sitting behind me hopefully that'll get us through this a lot quicker but with seeing how many pieces it's going to be I think it's going to be a two-parter. So what we're going to start with is um, some uh, bracelets that are all the same. Aren't those gorgeous? I mean, those are just, well, they're bangles. So let's see if we can get a close-up up here of this. Just give it a moment to focus. Are you going to focus on me? There we go. So pretty beaded and metal bangles. Very cute. I mean, look at them there. And yes, uh, my thing just wants to go all over the place. So, my camera. Sorry about that. So that's something that I'm going to keep and sell. Here's a couple more. There are a lot of bangles in here. So these are green uh, with a coppery color inside. Let's see if we can't just get that to focus as well. There you go. So it's kind of like a basket weave. Those are really cute. So those are a keeper as well. I have a couple more metal ones here that have little purple beads. So they kind of go together. Um, they could probably go with the other set. So I might sell them all together as a set. But these have... Come on, focus, focus. There we go, little purple beads. So those are a cute set. So I might sell them with the others. And um, then we have, it was mainly bangles and necklaces in this. Um, there are a few bracelets. And this is a red wooden set. Okay, so it's really, really cute. Red's my favorite color. The only thing is, is as you can see here, some of the red has come off. And they are wood. They're very, very lightweight. They're cute. They are for a small wrist. I'm telling you right now, I wear a five and a half size wedding ring. So they will go on a small wrist, not a large wrist. Uh, might be great for a teenage girl. Um, hey, get them, spray paint them, whatever. I'm actually going to put these in a craft lot. So, you know, you never know. They, they are wearable. Or maybe you can figure out something crafty to do with them. I know an awful lot of crafters, and I know when I see some of their stuff, I'm just amazed at some of the stuff that they can do. So we have a whole bunch more here of bangles galore. So we're just going to like spread them out there like cards, you know. So <laughs> we have here, I'll show them like three at a time if I can get them to, or four at a time, get them to focus. So those are cute. Um, this one, this one here, I think that's going to go in a craft lot because... It might just need a bath. I will try it for a bath first. But it looks pretty, pretty grungy. In fact, this one looks pretty grungy too. This one's definitely, you know what? I'm just going to throw them both in a craft lot right now so I don't have to worry about it. So we'll throw these two over here. Let's see what we have here. So we have a couple of plain just silver tone ones. We have a gold tone swirly one. Let's see if we can get a close up on that. Come on. It will focus, trust me. It's just being a little difficult today. There we go. So we have the silver, the gold tone. <coughs> My dog barking. My dog barking again. Sam, please stop. Thank you. Sammy, honey, please stop. 
he doesn't feel well. He ripped his CCL, so he's in pain. So he's like, I'm going to tell you guys about it because I hear my mommy talking. So <laughs> we have some stretchy um, bangles. Let me just put all these where they need to go. We have some stretchy bangles. Oh, we have some more metal ones. Let's do these two silver tone metal ones. Now these are kind of rounded. So those I'm just going to throw in with another lot that I will sell. Uh, what else do we have here? We have these stretchy guys. So, um, let's see. Oh, this is not a stretch. This is actually a clasp. And I don't believe there's anything on there. Let me get my loop. Hey, I found my loop. It was hiding on my desk. <laughs> hiding in plain sight it was. But I'm pretty sure there is nothing on here. Um, so there are those. Yeah, there's no markings. So this is just a cute little, this would be for a kid, I'm telling you. This is so small, like I wouldn't be able to get it on. So I would say someone with a really, really, really tiny wrist <laughs> or a child, okay? This one is one of those stretchy ones. And this is also a stretchy one. And the stretch is still pretty good in those. So I'll, I'm, I will be making up like a child's lot as well. We have some of these, or just two of these, these pink ones. Um, this one is support breast cancer. And this one is also breast cancer, hope, hope, hope. Which, let's see, I have my camera upside down, so I have to turn it around the right way. So, um, so those are actually gonna go in a craft lot. Maybe somebody can do something with them, you know. I don't know what. Uh, Let's see. This is so cute, but this is so tiny. So this would go in a child slot. I can't even get the toggle undone. But isn't that adorable? I mean, that would be great for a teenage girl. So so that's going to go to a kid slot. And then we have some stretchy ones here. These are both wood beads. Um, this one's pretty big and the stretch is kind of given on it. So these, um, so is this one. Well, actually the stretch is still pretty good on that, but this one definitely needs to be redone, uh, restrung. Well, I would say this one does too. So you know what? Craft lot. This one is cute. Uh, all the rhinestones are there and the cabs. The stretch is kind of gone, I would say. I mean, I don't know. I personally, I think it needs to be redone or someone could use it, use each individual. See, that's one individual piece. So if I can get it too. My dog's going to chew his bone now. So, so that's one individual piece. I could see somebody using that, you know, maybe to make some sort of sculpture. Like, have you seen the Christmas trees that people make out of jewelry? They're beautiful. I've seen um, beautiful flowers made out of jewelry. So I could see somebody making something really nice with this bracelet. So it's going to a craft lot. This is another um, blingy bracelet on leather with two snaps. Um, it is, um, it would fit a bigger wrist, bigger than mine. So probably it's probably a seven and a half, eight inch uh, bracelet. It could probably use a cleaning. The leather could probably use some conditioning. 
it does show wear on the inside. So it's going to craft lot as well. Somebody's going to make out like a bandit on this craft lot, I'm telling you. So more bracelets. This one's really cute. I really like this one. So this one has some Aurora, Aurora Borealis beads and silver spacers and a lobster claw clasp. So that one's cute. And this one is a gold tone to toggle with a heart. I always have problems with these. With a heart. Um, it probably just needs a little bath. And I'm sorry I keep saying um a lot. Very bad habit of mine. I don't know. You know what? I'm going to say, because it looks like the end's worn off there. This one's craft lot. This one I'm going to keep. This one, 80s. <laughs> so you do know this is vintage to now, but it's usually vintage to 90s because that's usually all I buy. But um, this has a barrel clasp. So I'm going to say 80s, but it is huge. So it would work for someone who does have a bigger risk, um, wrist. I'm not going to undo it. But it's really, really if you like the purple amethyst chips, that's what we have here. Very pretty. Some have some red in them. Oh, maybe it's dyed coral. I don't know. Um, there are chips. So that's a keeper. Now, I'm going to tell you, there's a couple pieces in here with ribbons material I don't like <laughs> I don't like anything with ribbons material in it I really really don't so I'm going to tell you right now this is definitely going to a craft lot I mean it's they're plastic beads they're really nice beads actually that one feels cool to touch that one might be a stone bead that's plastic the rest are plastic but I don't do ribbons or cloth so craft lot this is another uh cute little it is it is actually beaded on material all the beads are there coral and um a topazy type bead um it is starting to fray a little so i think i'm going to put that in a craft lot as well and somebody's making out like a bandit on this craft lot. And here we have a clamper bracelet. Doesn't set even. So can anybody tell me where this is going? Craft lot. This is, that would be cute for a little kid. I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I love the clear bleed beads. They are iridescent, so they do remind me of Aurora Borealis, but I do not believe that they are. It's very well strung. The stretch is still there. Would be great for a little kid going in with a child slot. This is also made for a bigger wrist. Um, it has a lobster claw clasp and sweet little blue and pink and green beads i know not showing up too well right there let's see if we can put it in my hand and see if it will show up the beads some shiny things just don't show up too well there we go so aren't they sweet with the silver tone looks like it needs a little bit of bath um there we go, saying, um, and it's actually more of a copperish. It may look silver in the camera, but it's more of a copper wire that they used or spacer beads and stuff. So that I'm going to keep. This is, yeah, a keychain, a blingy keychain, missing a little bling. So, oh, missing a little bling on this side too. Double blinged, 
double missing bling so it's going to a craft lot maybe somebody can do something with it okay so these are kind of cool i don't i mean these are definitely like 90s uh one is this one's a little tangled but check that out oops i think i brought it up too far there we go check that out and I'm going to have to flip my video because everything's turned upside down. Oh, never thought about that when I did this, but yeah. Um, you can switch it around. There we go. Now you can see. Well, you can't see all of it because I have to take it all and spread it out and show you what all is in here. And once I move my hands, it should focus back up again. And of course, it's not going to. But it is, it's very, very heavy. So it is reminiscent of the 90s. And there we go. So that's a keeper. I have another one that's even heavier. We will put this in the right way this time. Just because I have my, my camera turned around. So if you like this black and the gunmetal gray, and this thing is really, really heavy, it'll probably rip your wrist off. <laughs> no, just kidding. But it is adjustable. So, you know, even I could wear it or someone else could wear it because it's got a pretty long chain on it. I mean, there's the rest of the chain. So very, very heavy glass beads right a couple rhinestone items a cab there some hematite maybe i don't know just pretty blingy blingy so that one's a keeper uh let's see what else we have here oh we have some more bracelets so we have another one that would be like a child's bracelet okay blue and white blue and clear very stretchy still, so put that in a child's lot. And then I have these two black ones, or one's black, one's blue. As you can tell by the light that I have shining down on them. Um, so we do have, this is the black one. Uh, the stretch is still pretty good on it, you know? So sorry for hitting my camera. And the blue one, the stretch is really good on it. But look at those beads. Let's just look at those beads. Come on. I know you have it in your camera. Just focus. Yeah, it must be because I hit it. It doesn't want to focus. But they're very, very pretty. And Maybe if I put it on my wrist, fits my wrist really nicely. There we go. See how pretty those beads are. So you have like black and blue, or yeah. So these are these are like black, blue, silver spacers, and a tight fit getting it on. So definitely for a smaller wrist. Alrighty. So, oh, one more bracelet I think here. And that's this one. And it's for a bigger wrist. None of this has been marked so far. I have been checking it when I put it up here. So, And you can tell it's a newer piece because of the striations in the back. So that's what it looks like. Uh, I could probably even slip it on. Looky here. You break it, you buy it, Terry. But... I don't know if you can see how much give is under here. Oh my. Sorry, I've got the camera so close just because it doesn't like to focus too well because I have a MacBook Air with an M1 and Logitech does not support the M1s. So that one's a keeper. Okay, so moving right along, we have, let's just get rid of these right now. What do we see there? We see ribbon. We see these great big brown wooden maybe beads um they're all in really nice shape 
But once again, ribbon don't like it. Going to a craft lot, no problem. Give me my craft lot bag. In you go. Let's see, I know I had, oh, yes. <laughs> oh, you're gonna love this one. Look at that, all material. There's some, I, I don't even think this is plastic. It is so light, whatever this thing is. Uh, but it is just, it's long. It's, it's very long. It's knotted in a couple places, but it is material, so it's going to a craft lot. Okay, so now that we know which way I need to have my camera going. <laughs> this is a necklace, and because I have the camera so close, you're going to see it up close and personal. Um, it is probably hmm, 18, 20 inches, and all the beads are plastic in it, but it's still in really nice condition. Lobster call clasp it is not marked so it is a keeper this is jingle bells here listen no it's not it's a really really cheap faux chain <laughs> i mean yes oh there i go hitting my camera again let's get this back in in line here <laughs> I have it too close to this jewelry tray. Uh, so, yes, I mean, it is metal, because it is, but it's in that really lightweight stuff. So, and it does have a spring ring, ring closure. I thought it was all one piece, but I just now see that. There's no markings on it. It's going to a craft lot. Uh, let's see, what else do I have here? This is kind of cute. So this is that gunmetal gray from the 90s. And it just hangs down. Woo! They're all plastic. Okay. So, aren't they sweet? Let's pull it back down this way. Woo! So the gunmetal gray, it's lobster claw clasp. Um, nowhere, so I'm gonna keep it. Not marked either. Hematite and red and magnetic. It will stick together. You can make shapes out of it. Ta-da! You can wrap it around to make it into a bracelet. You can, um, you know, basically make it into a necklace. Let's see if I can do something here with it that you might be able to see. So let's just say this is your neck. <laughs> and then you have this, the rest. You know, you can let it hang down, you can tie it in a knot. It's magnetic, so it stays together. Um, I particularly myself don't like these, so it's going in a craft lot. Next, we have a four or five strand. Uh, these are really light plastic beads, different colors. We have some, these are kind of silverish, then we have clear, and then we have these darker beads, gunmetal gray maybe, uh, on a lobster claw clasp. So that's a keeper. Okay, we have some faux pearls. And these things are like, this is like a tiny little necklace. And it's got sticky stuff all over it. So I do have to clean it before I want to see those brown spots. I don't know what it's, I don't know what's on it. So I'm going to try and clean it. Like I like the findings here and the findings are pretty cool. 
uh, does have a lobster claw clasp, which I think might have been replaced, just because you can kind of see like a green tinge here, which means it might be older. But um, the fact that it has all this st stickiness to it, I'm going to try and clean it. If I can't clean it, it's going to a craft lot. Uh, okay, what else do we have? We have a 90s statement necklace. Okay, so there we go. Geometric triangles. Aren't those cute? In a peach tone. Those are plastic. Those are metal. Uh, the wear's not bad at all. Like, I'm not really seeing any wear on it. So, yep, keep her. Oh, oh, we have another. I have no idea what this is. But it's cloth. And, like, it's just one continuous. I wish you could see it. Well, here, let's just, like, do this. It's one continuous thing. Craft lot. Thank you for watching part one of our unboxing of our Vintage to Now jewelry, which was a six pound lot purchased off of Etsy. Please don't forget to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell so you get notifications of when we will have another video or go live. And please feel free to leave in the comments what you did and didn't like of the jewelry in part one. What were your favorite pieces? If there's anything else I can do better, because I do like constructive criticism. If you're just going to be mean, I'm just going to ignore you. Okay, thanks, and see you in part two.